In this week's Boys Pro Weekly, World of Warcraft talks expansion delays, StarCraft shows off some epic builds, Diablo developer stream Overload, Heroes of the Storm holds another developer Q&A, and Hearthstone Tournament Madness. Hey everybody, welcome to the newest episode of Blizz Pro Weekly. As always, I'm your amazingly bearded host, Chris the Beard, if you will. Arnoni. Uh, I just want to say, you know, I'm so excited. Last week we did our little Diablo drinking song and uh, such awesome feedback and viewership on that. We're just so excited that uh, pretty sure there might be something in the future where maybe, I don't know, I write some more stanzas, get a buddy in here who's a guitar player, and maybe we do this thing, you know, for realsies, as the kids say, I think, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, that's definitely something that I'm looking at. And so, you know, more and more. If you really want something like that to happen, put it in these show notes, the actual drinking song show notes. It was such a good time. I'm so happy people enjoyed it, and I would love to do more of that. In the meantime, let's talk World of Warcraft. Here's the beef. So the beginning of April was a really exciting time for World of Warcraft players. Blizzard announced that the closed alpha for Warlords of Draenor had started. Players began foaming at the mouth for any shred of data mine information, any official tweet, Facebook post, or Battle.net post that they could scrape up. Praise and criticism about any information released just flowed freely, bouncing around the place. Players made major gaming decisions based on partial bits of data, like they do. And we're reaching the end of May now, and players are demanding a beta. People want to know, they want to play the expansion right the fuck now. However, this is Blizzard. They're staying quiet on just when we will have said beta. There is, of course, no official expansion release date either. Now, community manager Zerim released a few tweeted answers to player questions on just when we can get our greedy little hands on the new expansion. Part of the delay is making sure these new features, such as garrisons, are stable and ready for players to test. You know, things like the stat squish, restructured abilities and spells, and of course the new zones. They want to make sure all that stuff's worked out before people get their hands on it. Zerim also flat out denied that the game Wildstar, set to be, be available in June, has anything to do with the Warlords of Draenor expansion being available in beta. Now believe it. Now since, first off, okay, since when has Blizzard ever given any other company's game any consideration or mention? Also, it's not PR's job to bald face lie to you. Withhold information, skirt around and answer, absolutely. But, but flat out lie, that just doesn't happen. It's just not good form in the PR industry, generally speaking. Now, along with the beta delay, players have been pouring over the gear and valor point changes. There's a lot of debate on these changes and if they're going to be worth it. Players are able to buy valor points to upgrade their gear with the Timeless Isle coins. The community is really fucking divided. Is this good for the game's overall health? Is the trade-off worth it? Some players even see this as a stalling tactic on Blizzard's part to distract us from not having the beta yet. Now, even with the debate and the questioning of Blizzard's true motives, most players are embracing the change. Now, some are embracing it while also debating it at the same time. The links to these articles can be found, as always, in our show notes, and you want to keep an eye on blizzpro.com for all your up-to-the-minute news. Now, we haven't been, had much to talk about for a while. Let's talk a little StarCraft II, though. Of me, boy. So the Blizzard eSports team has released several of the StarCraft WCS match replays from the 2013 Global Finals and WCS 2014 Season 1. Now besides showing the replays, they also show a series of charts that displays the high level build orders in an easy to follow format. So if you're looking to step up your game or just understand a little better how those builds work, check out the full article linked in our show notes. All right. How about we talk Diablo? Stay a while and listen. So during this epic Diablo second anniversary, players were treated to many in-game goodies as well as information overload on the upcoming editions. Now the people behind Diablo fans put together a list of all the information that was dumped onto us in a clear format. I mean, we're talking rift changes and additions, the season's information, crafting changes, class adjustments, and of course, all the story and lore goodies. Link, as always, in our show notes below. 
Now, we have a little bit of exciting news. In fact, I showed up today to film and, and Paul was kind of flipping his shit. He was so excited about this. Blizzard has decided to keep the legendary drop rate buff. Now, since the anniversary celebration is over, players will discover the legendary drop rate will stay the same, that 100% bonus. Now, if you're one of the few who has been waiting to get the Reaper of Souls expansion, wait no more! Amazon is having a sale on the expansion, so right now, you can get Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls for $29.99. That is $10 off the normal price for the expansion. Details, as always, in our show notes. All right, we'll want to talk a little bit about uh, maybe Heroes of the Storm. On Tuesday, May 20th, Blizzard held another live Q&A for Heroes of the Storm. They had game developer Matt Cooper, game designer Kent Eric Hagman, lead user interface artist Nicholas Slaw, and senior manager community development Kevin Johnson to discuss what's to come in the next patch and the future changes. Now, besides the new hero, Murky, they discussed talent changes and even some hero and map redesigns. They plan to add a personal kill streak meter and a bounty system, which can give the enemy team a bonus if they manage to kill you after you've started wiping the floor with them. Of course, the expected date of these changes is soon, as they say. And you can check out this article and the awesome screenshots in our link below. Unfortunately, not all is well in the tech alpha world. Blizzard is going to start banning players who repeatedly go AFK, keep quitting matches, and are generally just toxic to the game. Now, being invited to play in a tech alpha is a privilege, all right? Not a right. Players who are trying to game the system or just be assholes in general will be banned. It's really sad to see something so exciting and limited to be fucked up by these bans. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Don't go ruining things for people who really want to play and help test this game and give feedback to Blizzard. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Enough about heroes, let's finish up with some Hearthstone. Pull up a chair by the hearth. So Hearthstone tournaments are everywhere. The game was already boasting pro players while it was still just in beta. Now there are so many tournaments popping up it's really hard to keep track of them all, but let's hit some highlights. PvP Live will continue their Tavern Takeover series. The second Tavern Takeover <laughs> will be held May 31st on Twitch TV slash PvP Live. There will be a $3,000 prize pool, and the list of contestants is a who's who of talented players. Now, there's also the DreamHack Summer 2014 Tournament. Now, this eSport event will be the weekend of June 14th through 16th. Now, the tournament is expected to be the first truly major Hearthstone tournament with a massive prize pool of $25,000. Now, this tournament will also be using the iPad version of the game, which truly speaks to how well that version is built. And really, it goes cross-compatible. I've played games on my iPad against somebody on a laptop. It works awesome. Now, truly, truly exciting stuff. I better brush up on my little, you know, finger tap skills to get ready for it. Links for the tournament, as always, are in our show notes. Now, on a sad note, the competitive Hearthstone group Managrind has decided to stop hosting their regular Hearthstone tournaments. However, there's a silver lining. Managrind did say that they have some exciting things in the works, so don't count them down and out yet. Stay tuned, as always, to blizzpro.com for future developments. Now, no song this week, but we're gonna call some fucking shenanigans. So as most people know by now, the Discovery Channel has Shark Week. It's always a big thing. Well, Blizzard has decided that this week is Murky Week. That's right. The Murloc is almost an icon of Blizzard, kind of like Mario is Nintendo. Now, even if you've never played a World of Warcraft game, you have heard of fucking Murlocs. Anyone who has played them has a love-to-hate attitude toward the Murloc. Now, many adventurers have fallen dead to a horde of these tiny little fuckers. So the Heroes of the Storm team decided to make a cute little baby murloc named Murky a hero. This is Murky's week. Now, special ability there, Murky can respawn instantly after being killed at his cleverly placed egg. If played well, Murky will always be there to just run wild over your opponents again and again and again. Now, the article linked below gives you all the dirt on this adorable pest I mean hero, sure, whatever. It was only a matter of time before we saw Murlocs in Heroes of the Storm. And with this kind of introduction, we're gonna call shenanigans on Blizzard 
for fucking murky. Well, that does it for this week's show. All right, subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. We're also on iTunes. Of course, you want to check out our other awesome blizzpro.tv shows. You want to listen and subscribe to The Edge, West March Workshop, and Don't Kick My Robot. Me, I'm all over the internet. Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. I'm a Goodreads author. My book is available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. And of course, if you have a question, email us. Ask the beard, all one word, at blizzpro.com. And of course, check out blizzpro.com, the best place on the planet to get all the news, reviews, interviews, everything you need to know about Blizzard Entertainment games. Stay beardy, my friends.